Hello and welcome to the Computer Lab Vids YouTube channel and in this video I am going to show you how to access the files saved on your Mac within iPhotos. Okay so if uh, you have been saving your photos to the Mac and not sort of dragging them off um, a memory stick or something like that or if you have an iPhone and plugging it in the Mac automatically usually saves them into a program called Photos which is this icon on the bottom bar here. So when you save the photos um, onto your Mac it saves them all into this area but it then saves them into a file that you don't have immediate access to. Uh, what I mean by that if I just go into the finder and if you're new to the Mac the finder icon is this little face here so we'll click on the finder and this will open a finder window up and if I just go into uh, the pictures folder now if yours doesn't look like this it might look slightly different I put some different icons in here but you should be able to see the pictures one which is the one that I've just selected and then they have one that's called photos library which you think oh great that's where the photos are saved I will click on that and open my photos to do what I want to do because if you want to access the photos separately out of the photos app your images um, you need to obviously get gain access to them if you want to edit them in Affinity Photo or any program you're using or just want to email them separately and you just want to save them in a file structure you recognize you need to get them out of this library so straight away you're going to pitch you think photos library great I'll click that and see what but you double click that and what that does it opens the photos program and when you go to the photo right click and look for some information you can't get any information out of the app because the way that Apple works it won't it's trying to lock you into their services and their uh, programs and photos is one of theirs you can do some basic things in there so the icon here and the, with the arrow the share selected photo icon you click on that and you have some options you can go to Facebook and other bits and pieces um, but it's all built into the back so if I click Facebook it just gives you the basic things in there you can't do a lot with it it's not the same as sort of going to Facebook and adding the photo but anyway getting back to the images so we need to find where these images are or get to them and find the location so if I just minimize photos again and what I'll do what you need to do really um, I will just put two windows side by side find the windows this is purely uh, to make it easier to drag and drop from one to the other um, if you, I have a program called Magnet which works uh, the same as in Windows so basically when I drag my finder window to the left and my cursor hits the side it resizes it and that's just done by this uh, Magnet program. If you don't have that you can just literally open finder like we have here uh, and just resize it so you can see one there to the side and then if you get another one right click on the finder go new finder window and then just drag it across again to the side and just get it something like so you get two windows side by side that's all you're trying to do and uh, this is purely to copy and paste across uh, once you find the files in a second uh, like I say I do have this magnet program so I'll just resize mine automatically so you can see the side by side so the left window is the one where we want to try and find the photographs so we have the uh, make sure that we have finder selected so you can tell it'll tell you in the top left hand corner it says finder Go to the go to go command and then scroll down the go command until you see go to folder. Click on the go to folder. Now I've already put the uh, command in here, but you need to, I will put that in the description box below so you can just copy and paste that directly out and paste it into this area here. But if you're going to type it in, it needs to be exactly as you can read it there. Don't miss anything out. So we're going to pictures forward slash photos library dot photos library slash masters all that needs to be exactly as it is click the go and then straight away you can see if I just try and drag this I want to try and keep it all on one as it is so now it's showing me it's in the photos library it's showing me where it's saving and masters and then it's organized them in years now I've been saving photos since 2010 you might be just recently but Either way, the photos are saved within these folders. So if I'm looking for a photo within 2013, by the way, what I can do here, if I, so these are two separate finder windows. So I know I'm in pictures here. I could right click here, uh, create a new folder. And then if I call it uh, test, so then I've got 
one that's called test that I can save some items in. So for example, if I wanted to save this whole block out of iPhotos, I'd select them all, right click, copy seven items, right click in this window here, or paste. Uh, but if I want to get to a single file, and I know it was taken in at 2013, for example, now it will drill down to about three or four different um, menus and that's just the way that Apple saves them. So I'll just maximize this so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm in masters, 2013, 11, 20, uh, and some random numbers. Finally, I get to an image in the 2013 folder and it's a picture of a pedal. So if that was a photo that I knew that I wanted, I could literally copy that one across into my test folder. So I'll right click, copy, right click on my window that I already opened previously, and paste it into there. And then now I know I can get to the, into my, so if I just go to pictures, into my test, and there's the picture of the pedal out of uh, I uh, sorry out of photos so bear in mind if you want to copy the whole of the files within the masters folder and you do the right click and copy uh, selection it will take it a, a while to do depending on how many photos you've got so it is best sometimes to just try and drill through and find the photos that you're after and then right click and copy them individually drag them across once you have them onto the into your pictures file which is over here uh, you can then obviously rename them to whatever you think's uh, correct for that photograph. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope it's helped. If it has, please do subscribe, leave any comments below. Uh, and thank you very much for watching the Computer Lab Vids YouTube channel.